Uh, hi everyone and welcome back. My name's Olivia and on my channel we talk all things luxury, lifestyle, and a little more luxury. Uh, today we are discussing a very important bag, a bag that I feel like swept the world, okay? Like uh, the bag that launched a thousand ships, the bag that was photographed a hundred million times, the bag that I was literally convinced I would never buy, I wouldn't even like look at with a smile. I was just not giving this bag any time of day, okay? I was sure. Here I am reviewing, you must have seen it in the title, the Bottega Veneta Mini Jody. It stole my heart, it might steal yours too. Valentine's Day is coming up and this version is actually particularly Valentine's Day, okay? So watch your backs. Drum roll please, the bag. Okay, I think this is just the cutest bag. What I like about it is that it's incredibly understated. So sometimes I'm wearing, um, you know, anything, a top, a blazer, a pair of pants, a skirt that has just kind of larger, louder embellishments, buttons, um, sequins, whatever it might be. And so a lot of times I found myself kind of struggling between okay, do I mix a bunch of medias? Do I have, you know, dark silvers with aged gold and what have you? I didn't really have any purses that were just 100% free of hardware. I have one so black bag that you can kind of see in the back. It's a YSL small Kate bag, but it was the only one without a gold, a silver, or something in between. So this bag 100% filled a need in my closet. It's obviously, you know, completely without any level of embellishment. And the hardware itself is actually very hard to see. It's very small. It's just got that nice Bottega triangle there. And it kind of, when the bag is worn, it kind of just disappears into, you know, this little nook, nair, I say cranny. I don't know what nair means, but like, <laughs> nair, I say cranny. This bag, I feel like, this color, of course, that I have is an amazing pop of color. It looks so good against so many colors. It looks good with blacks, with grays, with whites, with pinks. Um, I haven't had this bag long, but I have worn this thing, okay? I've worn it like a uh, schoolboy wears a blazer. I've given it a lot of airtime, okay? And I really don't have a bad thing to say about it. 100% um, candid, I'm gonna buy this bag a million more times. Like, <laughs> if they're gonna keep releasing colors, I'm gonna keep rolling right up to that store and saying, hi, do you have any mini Jodies in stock? Like it's gonna get toxic. So I love the shape. I love my particular color. This is the patent, um, obviously kind of hot pink mini Jody, and I just think it is stunning. But what I love about Bottega and what I love about the mini Jody is that it comes in tons of colors. Um, I'm gonna pop it right over here on the screen. And so as you can see, they run the gamut, okay? They've got jewel tones, they've got pastels, bolder colors, and what I also like is that they've kind of mixed it up. So my version, of course, is the patent, which was new for, I think, last season, new for the fall season, but they've also got these really fun doohickeys, these like fuzzy shirling ones. And before I go on, I know that the shirlings are controversial, okay? People have been like a bit in a tizzy tiz about these bags. I get that they're not for everyone, but I honestly think they're cute. I am not, you know, obviously, Bottega Veneta is not paying me to say this. I genuinely think they're the cutest little thing. Would I give them my money? Absolutely not. If someone bought it for me, would I say thank you? Absolutely, yes, it's one of those, okay? Um, the other thing that I've heard folks say on the internet is that the zip closure is really tricky. It was actually a reason why I almost didn't buy the bag, um, but I thought, you know, let me go into the store, get a checky checky for myself, and I don't find a problem with it at all. So here's mine, right? The zipper is just right here. It's pretty zipped. Um, maybe I didn't get it quite all the way, but you get the point. Um, it's pretty simple to me. I don't know if it's different, you know, based on how recently or how far in the past the bag was bought, but the one that I have, I really don't struggle with the zipper at all. Um, and I think it's a pretty good size. So what I will say is my absolute all-time favorite bag is the Chanel Medium Classic Flap. So I'm kind of used to not having a ton with me, right? By the time you put a bag organizer in that bag and just, you know, have a desire to not overstuff it, 
I'm not putting a ton in my bag no matter what day of the week it is. But so I figured it would be helpful to just show you all everything that I can fit inside of the mini Jody. So here I am. I have my iPhone. So this is, I think it's called the iPhone Pro. The most recent one, I don't know, with the three. This, this is why this isn't a tech YouTube. Um, I've got a card holder here. So just kind of standard card holder with the drop-ins, not a zip fold or anything, just the flat one here. I have both my car keys and house keys. So like a little bit chunkier than just one or the other. And lastly, because Omarion's not getting me, okay, uh, hand sanitizer. And this is kind of a chunkier one. This is a Touchland. So these come in really great looking packaging, but they're not the skinniest sanitizers for a purse. So I can fit all of those things in here. I guess I should put them back in on camera. Da -da -da -da. Um, sanitizer, keys, card holder, and then iPhone. And so you see, they fit in nicely. This can 100% zip. Again, I'll do it on camera so everyone can kind of see how the zipper's working. I do know with the Mini Jody, it sounds like some people wear it open. And so to say, you know, like just literally with the zip open. And of course you can't tell. So I would not at all be worried that someone was gonna pickpocket. I don't even think the hand of a pickpocketer could fit into my hand already holding this. Like there's not all that space. I personally don't put a ton in, so I'm able to close it. But if you are a person who packs a little bit more on your day to day, I still think this is a bag that you should consider. I do not think it is like measly, scrawny, teeny weeny at all. I think it really does fit a decent amount. And again, the amount of most of the bags that are on kind of the smaller side out there in the world of luxury handbags. So I give it a 10 out of 10. I absolutely think this is a must buy. I think that this piece will also be around for a long time. And I think I've said in videos before, trends do not excite me, okay? I, I like looking like current, I guess, but I'm not trendy in any way. So the concept of, you know, oh, maybe this bag's getting out of style, would you ever wanna sell it? My answer is almost nine times out of 10, no, but especially for this bag, it's a no. I think that the Intrecchiato weave that Bottega Veneta has is just so iconic. Um, this bag is so nicely constructed, just, you know, the way that the weave comes together, this like brilliant hot pink, it is a beautiful tone. The inside of the bag is actually completely leather. So you can see in there, this isn't lining by any means. It is that ultra buttery soft Bottega leather. And if you haven't touched Bottega leather, your hands are potentially gonna turn on you. Like they need it. You need to touch this leather. It is, oh my gosh, I am a fan, a huge fan. I think Bottega might have like the nicest leather on the market right now. And so dipping your hand in this little little pouch of a purse is just nicer. You know, it's nicer than having a bag with lining um, or nylon or, you know, anything else inside. I think it is well worth it. I am a huge, huge fan. Um, I also think that this is a good gift. So Valentine's Day is coming up, of course. This one just so happens to be hot pink. I think if you have a bag lover in your life, if you want to give a gift to yourself, which I endorse significantly, do it. This is the bag to do it, okay? Get those buns to that store, get those fingers to that e-commerce site, and do it. And if you do it, let me know. I think this bag is amazing, and I hope that this review helped. If you enjoy this kind of content, don't forget to like and subscribe. We are on a fashion journey here, and there's much more to come around convincing you to spend your hard-earned coin on luxury purses and other things that I find on the internet and can't get over. Thanks for stopping by.